So this is the follow-up of my previous video. It's again a push-pull tube flyback driver, in this case an SC flyback. But now I'm using two tubes, a more powerful and a beefier power supply. So a quick list of the specs we have here, two tubes. These are PL504, these are not in parallel, it's for a push-pull, they are separate. The transformer here, I have an AC uh, secondary for being totally specular in the circuit. And the core is now gapped, there's an air gap, 0.3 millimeters per side. The uh, primary and feedback coils are wound on separate spools here. These are, these are both center tapped. In parallel of the primary, there's an MMC, a capacitor, that sums up to be like 9.25 nanofarads, rated for like 6 kilovolts, and it's enough. Now, uh, instead of the 6 and 7 tube double triode, uh, I have pain tods, so I need a grid 2 supply, and here we have a 20k resistor heat sinked, uh, one resistor for both the tubes, and instead there's a capacitor. Capacitor uh, for decoupling the grid 2 and avoid the interaction between the tubes. There's a choke coil in the circuit uh, for the supply of the transformer, and it's 7 milliaries, something like that. And another thing, the power supply uh, is beefy now, it's an old friend. This is capable of uh, 1.4 kilovolts DC at open circuit, it will probably be slightly less under load than the transformer. Uh, 28 volts SC for the filaments of the tubes. And I had a pair of problems with this setup here because it's now more powerful than the one in the last video. And it was that I thought of using a safety spark gap uh, for limiting the output voltage and it was a good idea. But to have a wilder and longer arc on the output electrode, I tried to widen it. Now it's set at 1.5 centimeters, but I tried also at more than 2 centimeters. But that was a bad move because at some point, <laughs> logically, the uh, SC secondary flashed over in this spot here, this is the well where the high voltage output wire comes uh, out and it's connected internally and it flashed over on the ground wire here, you can see there's some black here, the secondary was flipped and I fixed it, I cleaned it thoroughly and used the hot glue, you may think why hot glue? I have epoxy but I don't want to use epoxy because epoxy sometimes doesn't stick very well so uh, an arc can crawl uh, below the epoxy and reach again a uh, ground point. But before this there was already another problem that I haven't noticed and it was the uh, core cracked because <laughs> the, apparently the magnetic flux was so high that it cracked the core because uh, there was a very small uh, air gap that was uh, 0.1 millimeters times 2 and it was a forward transformer, now it's still a forward transformer but with more air gap and the magnetic flux was so high that it cracked the core and I haven't noticed that and when I dismantled the flyback for fixing the secondary that luckily was fixable I, I was like what the fuck happened to the core and that's it basically Ok, let's try this thing, the cathodes are hot, I have a separate transformer for that Let's provide the B plus supply. Here I have the chicken stick. Let's try first at low power. More. And let's try directly at high power. Okay, that's enough. Let's wait for the tubes to cool down a bit. Let's try again. Okay. And this thing can probably do more than the arc you saw because probably I need to use a DC flyback instead of an SC one because the voltage must rise freely probably to have a wider and longer arc. But I wanted to use forcefully an SC flyback because I like it this way. 
Anyways, I think this uh, project is finished. You can find the schematic in the description of the video below. And I think at this point, goodbye for now.